Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Cameroon, the Netherlands, USA, Indonesia, El Salvador, Nepal, Man of Spain, Thailand. And now we have present to you the man of the universe. Mr. Gilbert Esperito, the President and CEO of Star Realm Corporation. Good evening, everyone. Man of the Universe is an international male pageant managed and organized by Star Realm Corporation. Our aim is to provide young men around the globe a platform to connect, learn culture, and expand knowledge and horizons beyond their spheres. Our objective is to ensure that we create a memorable experience to all the candidates so that they can bring with them the joy and share the fun with the people they interact with. We wanted to go beyond the glitz and glamour of pageantry. We wanted to give new meaning to what we have been accustomed to. We believe that positivity is contagious. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all the sponsors who believe in us and who openly trusted us. Our gratitude for you embrace us and what we stand for. To the city of Cebu and the wonderful Cebuanos, Dakhang Salamat. To all the country national directors, candidates, their families and supporters. It has been a journey and we hope that you will continue to join us until the finals night on September 6 at Teatro Filipino. Mankind, no matter how diverse, can be united. Humanity, diversity, unity. On behalf of the people behind Man of the Universe, especially our Cebu team headed by Rick, as the president of Star Realms Corporation, I am pleased to present to you the 13th official candidates of Man of the Universe. Presenting to you the 13th candidates, starting off, Gabriel. Lorenzo Caballero, 24 years old, Birman 
of the universe, Filipino KSA. <laughs> Magandang gabi, I'm Topik Sanjaya, 24 years old, and, and I'm your man of the new force Indonesia, 2019. Thank you. 
And to complete the candidates, we have Man of the Universe, you're great! Hi Philippines, my name is Adel Serhal, I'm 21 years old, I'm your man of Ukraine. here the key is that you come and participate in this competition because by uh, participating in this competition you will like learn a lot you will meet like other candidates from other nations like you learn from one another and that is the important thing because uh, Matters of Diverse believe that uh, mankind no matter how diverse can be united and it's like we are like we represent diversity and we are together so that means we represent unity as well yeah. and we are human we are socializing and that represents humanity and that is all we came here for. So I don't think winning is important. Thank you very much. Uh, next question, oh, another answer? If I may? Well, I believe that winning is just a prize. The thing that matters is the experience, the, the, the road we go from the beginning to the end, where not everybody gets a crown. The good thing is that everybody gets experience, everybody gets to connect with other people, everybody gets to connect with different people from around the world. And just when be, by being here in Philippines in Cebu, I get to know cultures, the Filipino culture, my friends, I get to know everything. And I'm really proud of it. And I'm really, really excited to know even more. Thank you. I think this is your second day here in Cebu. Yes, it is. Um, talking about experience and fun, how was your uh, uh, experience or uh, first two days here in Cebu? How can you describe it? And if you could remember where were you earlier? Good evening, everyone. To me, Cebu is just a place where I am so excited about this country. The respect that the people have. We went to, earlier we went to San, San Pedro. It was beautiful, really beautiful. I've learned so much today, the, uh, your culture, the religion, and I want to learn a lot of more. So, yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you, Nadir Another answer? Yes. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, to talk about experience for the two days, like, it's been my second time that I'm in Philippines and first time in Cebu. So, yeah, definitely when I passed years, I love Philippines people. Like, they are really sweet, kind, and humble. The things I like Philippine people is that they are sweet, they are uh, they're easy to conversation, they are willing to help each other. So, that things I like the most. And then talking about the place, we today we visit lots of place, and I think we enjoy. And the theme is also the unity, diversity. I think that's a uh, perfect. So we are together. We are like brothers here, and we are sharing everything, and we are chilling out as well. We are doing competing. So I think it's the best platform. And thank you so much, sir, for providing us this platform and make a unity. So thank you so much. 
Thank you, Bob. And Andrew, please. Okay, good evening. Uh, before I'm landing to Cebu, I look at uh, the sea, Philippine, Israel nation, like Indonesia, the beautiful Israel. And before I don't know, uh, the Philippine, uh, Eng English language, uh, by English language, uh, second language by Filipinos to communicate. I don't know before. And right now, I know, uh, in the Cebu, English is the second language for Filipinos to communicate. Thank you. Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Uh, itong dalawang araw po natin dito sa Cebu, marami po akong natutunan about sa mga culture, religion, sa mga tao. Uh, hindi po pala napaka-ganda, kundi napaka-napakaganda talaga ng Cebu at maipagmamalaki talaga. Lalo na yung culture nyo, yung pagkain nyo, napakasarap. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Yes. So I'm really glad to be here and part of this pageant. Um, getting to know all of this, my brothers now, um, is actually really nice. Um, I'm really inspired to be here. Um, we inspire each other to be a better person. Be, um, honestly, like it's our second day and I'm already inspired by them. Knowing their culture, their na uh, nationalities, it's been a pleasure. Um, the staff is very welcoming, and so as the Cebuanos, uh, I'm really glad to be here. Thank you so much. Well, for me, I am happy for staying here. Just I have a few hours uh, arrived here in Singapore, but I am happy for staying here because um, Philippines and my country, Salvador and Latin America, has a similar uh, things. So I am happy and I want to explore Singapore, sorry, uh, Philippines. And Thank you. How about you, Cameron? What's your answer? Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. It's one of me to be in Cebu. Since yesterday, I feel at home. I feel at home. Everything, everything so beautiful, so nice. Welcoming for Europeans, for Cebuan, for Cebuanos. Ah, nothing to, to to say about this. I feel I am. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we have another question from the prima, Ms. Carla. Uh, hello, good evening. Whoever wants to answer this question, may you, know, you can take it away. Uh, how do you guys plan to um, represent your country best? Like, how can you best represent your respective places? Okay, thank you. How to represent three from our country? Okay, before in this year, in 2019, uh, enjoy the national region. Gentlemen of Indonesia, and I won't say come up. And my national director uh, gave me the title for Man of the Universe in Indonesia 2019 and for competition to Philippines right now. Thank you. Uh, how can you best represent? Like, how can you uh, best show? your culture and um, the kind of people that are from your country. I was born in the Middle Eastern part of Nepal, so like uh, for me being here is the reason that in a country Nepal that like the blue present and morning is not like great. So I'm trying to afflict uh, as a morning and blue present in our country. So in case of this situation that makes people bad like this was Miss Nepal, they all know the name, but when the face of Miss Nepal or Man of the World Nepal, I think they don't know the who is. So this kind of situation is in our country. So if I represent like this in international pattern, then they will be like, oh, from Nepal there is someone. So kind of they can inspire for 
Mm-hmm. Like this person, and it helps to when you flip that uh, pattern. So I am here to like to rep- represent my culture, my unity, my human. I feel like I am Nepal. So I am not a one person. I am carrying my country. So if I show a good behavior to all of you, then all say that okay, yeah, Nepal is good. Yeah. Everything. So I'm representing my culture in best way. I'm unity. I'm trying to like, yeah, I'm enjoying and I culture sharing and everything. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you for this question because I am I'm born in the Netherlands with roots from India, parents from Suriname. I can proudly say that in the Netherlands is very diverse and multicultural. I'm a good example of that. So that's why I want to show. Mankind, how diverse can be united? What? The echoes, humanity, diversity, and unity is all found in Holland. So, this is me, this is Saga Begin, and this is the Netherlands, and I'm proud, proud to be here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, his, dream. his dream is to, as the first deaf man in an international pageant, he wants to show in the, uh, in the, in the stage what, what he can do. To show how he is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. For me to represent the Philippines, I saw is an honor and so happy to represent our country. But then I prepared a lot for this one and I prepared for my workout and a lot and my time three. But as of now, um, the man of the universe, um, Philippines is a host, host country, so we prefer to um, to um, uh, welcome others, other country here. Then we prefer others to be comfortable here. Thank you very much. Well, I really want to show my country too. But I believe that each one of us, when when they when they were born and until now, they have like their roots. If they were born like in Nepal, in Peru, in Netherlands, they have all they have their roots. So we are all here to show our roots of our nations, of our countries, and to share it with all of us. That's what I want to do. We all have it, and we just gotta show it. We just gotta talk about it, and we know it. So that's what I'm gonna do with my country. So your question is how to how how do you best represent your country, right? So my answer would be just put the essence of your country to be omnipresent with you. Like for example, what is Thailand best known for? Uh, the land of smile, right? So just put on some smile, something like that. And the Thai is known for their friendliness. So just be friendly with others. And as you can see here, like my costume is like also like uh, represent like showcase Thai art, and I also have this thing that uh, it's a picture of my late king. And yes, this would be like how I would represent my country. Mm-hmm. Just let it be myself. Hi, and welcome to Cebu, Philippines. I'm Fred Alvarez, Elgant of Cebu, which means Traveler of Cebu. My question is, um, now, Man of the Universe is already known to social media. How would you handle bashers on your social media? Everyone can answer that one. <laughs> I just would like to repeat again. Welcome again here to Cebu, Philippines. How would you handle bashers since you are now known to the social media world? Hi, to 
Right. So, well, bashers also know as haters. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I just don't handle them. Those kind of people that just, without any reason, just get in so other people's pages and other people's profiles and to talk bad things about them, I just don't talk to them because that's what they want. They want their, their attention, they want to hurt, they want that, and just don't give it to them. You just got to answer to the good comments, not the bad comments. Hi. So, um, you asked how we're going to handle that. So, for me, I, uh, for example, I'm representing Filipino community of Canada. I've received um, criticism from the net netizens of uh, Canada. How are you um, representing Canada if you're not Canadian, if you're not naturally born here? But I answered, Yes, I am not Canadian, but I am leaving Canadian culture. But if you tell me, I am Filipino by heart. And um, kill them with kindness. Smile and let them be. Hello. Uh, I want to answer about the haters on the social media. Uh, nowadays, we have like a lot of haters on social media because um, you know they just don't want us to succeed or maybe they're just jealous or something but anyways we just ignore them and we can't satisfy all like their needs they just want attention as my friends say so we just ignore them and we kill them with a smile that's it wow. What I would do uh, against bashers is to stay professional. Just ignore it, smile, be kind, and that's what they hate. So that's my answer. Thank you for this question. So thank you for your question. The thing is, if you are getting more haters, then congratulations, you are level of success. So for me, just be yourself. So people who are doing good and doing good, the people the people start to hate them. So if you are if you are lots of better, then congratulations. You are level of success. Right? Keep going, leave yourself and keep passionate that what you are doing. Thank you. Um, good evening everyone. Um, thank you for your question. This question is very nice. Uh, well, haters are very important in life because they help us to achieve more in life and uh, you know in life uh, there will be haters lots of haters they will throw a rock on you what you do with the rock this is important just build the bridge and cross it thank you i just want to say to us thank you to the haters and i want to say without a uh, header uh, without header uh, we are nothing just keep uh, going. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Uh, siguro yung pag-handle ng bashers, uh, ito na yung sa Pilipinas na pakarami nating bashers dito. Siyempre, ang gagawin natin para ma-handle natin yung mga bashers, uh, just to smile only. And siyempre, uh, dalhin mo pa rin yung sarili mo kung paano ka gumalaw dito sa mundong ginagalawan natin. Yung lamang maraan sa lamang. Good evening, everyone. Okay, we'll move to... <laughs> okay. Okay. You can answer. For, for it would be the last answer for that question. Yeah. Okay. For me, just ignore them, then make them inspiration, then give them smile, because I believe negativity can make you a better person. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Philippines. At this time, we'll have two more questions and two answers for Kathy. Yes. Do answer my question. Okay, next question, please. Hi, Diva Candidates. Hello. Hi, my name is DJ Jan. I'm so excited to see you in the finals. Well, I just want to know you more. Um, my question is very easy, maybe. Um, they say that experience is indeed a, the best teacher. Um, I just want to know, or can you share a bit of your experience and your learnings out of, out of that experience? 
Uh, so hello, I'm from Thailand. I would like to answer that question. Well, as you can see here, I'm a, I'm kind of a very en uh, energetic person. Like I'm really friendly. I'm really friendly. I'm social. I'm very sociable. But it's like there was this one point in my life where it just got too much, and I accidentally offended someone really badly. And like now we are not friends anymore. And because of that, it, it was like lifetime lesson like it like it's still my nightmare it's like nothing is good when it's too much there's like friend friendliness like people would think that okay it's good it's a good quality but it's not when you are doing it too much like some some people might get offended easily and that is like my biggest mistake i ever made so it would be my life lesson and yes there's a experience that i would like to share with you all thank you Last answer for that question. Uh, so your question is the how was it until this experience until now, isn't it? So the things that I have never told on social media past three years, uh, three girls broke my heart. So I kind of weird. So at that time I was so frustrated and I think that I need to do something in my life. That's the past three years that I recover more and we are friends now. So at that time I feel that I need to do something. I need to show them and I really, really thanks for them. If they do not broke my heart, I would not be here. So it's been a life. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Different different patterns, so I really fortunate about that. The, there is one condition, everything happens for a reason. Just believe me, just if any difficulty problem in your life that make you more and more strong. So welcome the problem in life. Don't be stay always happy. So welcome the problem, try to tackle it and believe me you will go more and more. Okay, thank you very much, Nepal. It's important for me to, to take on his condition and to keep going. He needs to, he wants to open his heart to, to get to show who he is, not what... Thank you very much. Thank you. And before we move to the last question, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the head at sales marketing of Montanelli of Delia Hotel, Ms. Eve Marie. Moment, we will now move for the last question, sir. Um, hi, good evening, everyone. Hello. Um, my name is Nash from Simple Bloggers. So, my question is intended especially for first timers to join in both national and international pageant. So, from the tagline itself, humanity, diversity, unity, um, and the universe is really a good. Um, platform, um, passionate platform for male, right? Uh, may I know what are your biggest preparations before you decided to join the pageant? Okay, uh, my name is Adel again, and I'm from Ukraine, and I would like to answer your question. So, uh, my inspiration in joining this pageant is um, my target is not, not not about the beauty and everything. My target to inspire people, the the young children, you know, education, uh, the human the humanity, um, you know, uh, as we are human, so we should help each other. We should we should share love. So that's my target in, in this pageant. Um, so for me, this is the crown to to love the people, to the people love you back. Uh, to share kindness, uh, love, and 
promote more education because I've heard like in Philippines um, there's a lot of school uh, a lot of kids that they're not in school and they're dropping out of school and that's what uh, what we're working for so so hopefully everything is gonna be okay thank you uh, good evening I'm Lorenzo Caballar from Filipino Community Siguro yung my inspiration, my inspiration is may kababayan and this year's OMW in Saudi Arabia. Yun yung ginagawa kong stepstone para lumaban kami at patuloy pa rin lumalaban sa buhay. Sapagka hindi alam ng ating mga gobyerno dito sa ating bansa, marami nang nangangailangan na ating, na, na tulong ng ating mga kababayan. Sapagka bilang isang OMW, hindi madaling pumasok sa ganitong trabaho. Lalo na yung mga babae, na hindi mo alam kung ano ang mangyayari. Dahil ang, ang alam natin, napakasarap ng buhay namin. Pero bilang isang OMW, talagang may iyang uh, halos lahat ng kinakain mo, hindi mo, kumbaga, uh, uh, kasi ang, ang kingdom sa Saudi Arabia, alam natin, ito yung Muslim. Hindi madali para lumaban kami. Sa pag, pero dahil sa isang uh, manager namin, uh, pinopursue kami dito sa budget na to para ipagmalaki ang kultura ng Muslim at ng Pilipino. Mali po maraming salamat. Uh, so, regarding your, your question, what's the biggest preparation, right? And yes. specifically for uh, for those who like did some research the first time in the, in the international scale, international scale. Yes, both international. Well, it's like this is actually my very first time in Hajin industry, uh, regardless of national or international scale. So, like everything was really stressful for me I would say and it's like I had only I had less than a month to prepare because was because like I was the second choice for my national director but yes like the biggest preparation that I had that I have to go through would be the knowledge of everything that I have to you know like have it myself in order to represent my country in order to to be well qualified for the title of man of the universe. It's like it's not so that you look awesome, you look handsome, and just be here and win the prize. You have to know like Filipino culture. You have to know your culture very well. You have to know the concept of humanity. You have to know the concept of uh, unity and diversity. So I I wouldn't say that I have the biggest preparation because every preparation, every step of it is a very important step. So. Yeah, the overall, the, the, the whole picture is the biggest preparation for me. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Taylor, and thank you very much for all your questions. And we would like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Uriel D. from the Bangan and Kiemi. And Sir Sande Anadia from the Bangan. Thank you, Sir Sande. Again, this is going to be successful with these following sponsors. Red Doors Cebu, Maring Beach Resort, Montebello Bella Resort, Hasty Fit Travel Nation, Cavalet, Sam Ibanez Alga, Prodigy Bureau, Pretty Fine Skin Care, Frank Francis Otto, Jamal Collections by Griffiths Malazarte, Winnings and Events Professionals by Whitmark Cortez, Fitness Nation, Noelle Ness of Tem Forte, Orgy, Athara Island Hopping and Tours, Man of the Universe Official Glam Head, Ruby Mendoza, Joseph Andrew Photography, the official photo, photo and video of Man of the Universe. And we would like to invite you for our upcoming grand finals on September 6th at Teatro Casino. Thank you very much. And I would like to call all the candidates to go on the stage. Uh, put Thank you, Montebello! Hello, everyone. I am the representative from Thailand, Maris, and I would love for you, to, uh, I would love you guys to support Man of the Universe because it's brand new, it's like, it's not like any other magic competition because it promotes humanity, diversity, and unity, like, like it's so brand new that everyone should like give it a chance, and it's like the final will be on the 6th of September at the Andro Casino Waterfront at 6pm, just please come and support us.
like everyone here is so cool. Hello. Yeah, everyone will do their maximum and there will be greatness to witness that day. Just please come and see you guys are safe. Follow me and watch us at the Yakro Casino on September 6th. See you there.